Christopher and I like to make stuff. Hi, my name is Sean and I like to make stuff. Today we're going to play with our tongue tumble. Orange tumble. It was probably named after Alan Tumble. Alan Turing was the famous mathematician in the World War II. Inside, I'll show you. Um, right here. There's two types of marbles, red and blue. There's 30 of these. There's six of these. There's ten of these. There's three of these. There's eight of these. There's four of these. There's one of trusting stones. Which is right here. There's one blue, there's one. No, there's 21 blue, there's 21 red, there's oh, yeah. 21 there's, black. There's 30 I mean, black. The, no, there's 30 whites. They're the, whites. The book starts with the story. Or moving in with challenges. The first time he's using this weird, weird, weird green piece he's called that. For Christmas look. You have the blue pieces on the left and the red pieces on the right. The green thing is called the wrap and it goes like this. And if it's facing this way, which it can face both ways, it goes down and would fall onto this, which doesn't have anything. If it went this way, it would go and fall down here. Same with this. If it went this way, it would go down. If it went this way, it would go down like that. If it went the other way, which is like this, it would go this way. The next piece we get to use is this thingy with a um, jiggy orange thingy. The crossover. So if it goes mm -hmm. on if it this goes, side, it if goes, it goes on this here. side, it goes on there. If it goes on this side, if it goes there. If it if it lands on this, it could go this way. Or if it lands on this, it could go this way. So this is like this. It goes here. If it falls down here, it's not going to go this way because there's a bend. So that means it goes bend. And it Many of the challenges are like getting it to a certain pattern and a certain number of balls and then another certain. Like one of my challenges that I've already done on this because I've already done this. I'm way past the, this piece. Uh, one of those challenges was uh, get to the, like, get some of, get some of these balls and some of these balls down here, like five of these and then four of these down here, and you have to use the, this next piece that we're going to use called a bit, and it goes the same as the wrap but it's both ways so if it's faced this way it goes this way with the marble and we were trying to figure out like if there's a lot of ramps like three ramps right here and the track was all set up it would be like how uh which way do you face these ramps to make the balls go the balls go down here and activate another one, another one, another one until it comes down here and activates this one, and then it goes down, 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 and then it, and then the last ball falls in another piece. That's this. If it falls on the blue side, it triggers a blue. If it falls on the red side, it triggers a red. But there's some easy pattern that's only use one color that are like uh and this piece right here i use it for like a mop to pick up scraps but it's meant for plugging in the, this because it's press the start so it's easier to start doing it oh my dad says that these blue things are doing binary math which is a type of math i think but i'm not sure uh, and this is basically like 
part of a computer, but it's not all of a computer that my dad said. So let's try this. Yeah. These are you but we this. haven't got to these challenges yet. I'm building challenge number 23, which is a counter with the blue bit, and he was here has not been setting it up, so I'm gonna finish for it. Each blue bit, there's four bits. One, two, three, four. Okay, and all of those bits, like it shows you right here. This one equals one, this equals two, this equals four, this equals eight. And all of them together equal 15. So that means that's the highest number it can go. So it can go one, I mean zero. It can go 15 to zero, any of those numbers, but not a number in between, not a number that's not 15 to zero, like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are the only numbers it can make this. Since we're only using one, two, three, the one and the two and the four, uh, those three, uh, it only adds up to seven, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all. So I'm gonna load this with seven blue balls so you can see how this works. I have the one and two bit on, and I am with with the one and two bit to the right. What is one plus two? The easiest question. Three. So we would do three. It would be three. I I I know there's going to be three marbles down here at the bottom at the end, and the fourth one's going to get caught. Four are gonna get moved, but one's gonna get caught, and the rest, which is three, are gonna go down here. That's what I predict, and I know. See, one, two, three. My prediction was right because I know that. And uh, yeah, so I want to do another number. What if we do five? That's a good number, five. I predict it's gonna be five and I know because right here it says one and four. This is one, this is two, this is four. That's what they equal. This is one, two, and three. Okay? So I predict if, the, if this is one and this is four, one plus four, four plus one equals five, so I predict it. And I will, and this is my second time. It's like in a math equation, you should have two ways to do it. So you are positive that it works. Like I'm positive that this works, 
I'm going to be positive that this works if 5 go down. Okay? complicated patterns like I'll flip to the most complicated pattern I can find last most complicated pattern I have not gotten this far but this is the most complicated pattern there is so it's like challenge if a Less than, Less than B, put a ball in the interceptor L. If A equals B, put a ball in interceptor E. If A is bigger than, is, is greater than B, put a ball in interceptor D. And it shows you the example. Okay, and it shows these. And that is a really complicated one. I really enjoyed playing with my turning table and I'm going to show you the last one is going to be mine, which I made up. And it does actually work. Uh, if you, you should not put these pieces straight up because that can cause a glitch by so many pieces that it's hard to cause a glitch. So, Come on, this push the button. is my track. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but let's just do it. Three, two, wait, no, I'm going to say three, two, one, lift off, and it's going to go. You have to make sure everything is ready first. That needs to be straight, as I know. Not do that. Everything is ready. So, three, two, one, lift off. Predicting, predicting, 